Welcome to my CCNA training series. My name is Trevor. This video is going to answer a very good question that all new Cisco students ask. And that question is, if the entire world uses the TCP IP networking model, why do we still talk about the OSI model? Why is it that I'm learning about the OSI model if nobody in the world uses it? So to answer that question, let's go back in time a little bit. Let's go back to the late 1980s and early 1990s. At that time, many people were unsure of which networking model would end up dominating the market and becoming the standard. So what many people and businesses started doing was they introduced and began following both of the OSI and TCP IP models in their environments. Many vendors and protocol documents started using terms from the OSI model as well, while the two different networking models existed simultaneously. The TCP IP model ended up overtaking the OSI model on the market and becoming the standard. The OSI terminology still remained in place though. Terminology is the only reason why you'll ever need to learn about the OSI model today even though almost every device in the world utilizes TCP IP. Odds are you'll never sit down and work on a computer that uses OSI. But since the foundations of networking were written and documented using OSI terminology, it's crucial that you understand it. It's also a major topic on the exam and essential to your development as a network admin. An example of OSI terminology is when people in the industry refer to a switch as a layer 2 device or even a router as a layer 3 device. Since in the TCP IP model, a router is actually at the internet layer, which if you count is layer 2 on the TCP IP model. To solve for this terminology confusion, recently the TCP IP model has been updated and revised. Here's a comparison of the OSI model, the TCP IP model, and the TCP IP updated model. Notice that the updated TCP IP model's lower four layers align with the OSI model now. This will solve for the discrepancies and documentation confusion and eventually remove the need to learn OSI model since the TCP IP updated model now reflects that terminology that's used in the industry. However, keep in mind that the OSI model is still an important topic on the CCNA certification, so you need to know it. What I really want you to get out of this video is I want you to know that whenever you sit at a computer, it's not going to be using the OSI standards. It's going to be using TCP IP standards, just like 99.9% .9 of the computers out there. And I also, want you, I also want you to know the reason why OSI is still referenced today, and that's just because of the terminology confusion. When OSI and TCP existed simultaneously, the documents that make the foundation of networking were all written using the OSI terminology. Well, thank you for watching. I hope this video kind of cleared up some confusion that you may have had. Please leave any questions or comments you have in the comment section below.